Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we will be talking about inflorescence. So let's study what do we mean by inflorescence. Inflorescence is nothing but the arrangement of flowers. Now what are flowers? Flowers are the modified shoot. So the shoot, they have been modified into very attractive structures and these are the flowers. They can be colorful, they have fragrance and most importantly flowers are the structures or the reproductive structures of most of the plants. So they help in reproduction. So these flowers, they are the nothing but modified shoot. Now the arrangement of flowers on the floral axis or the main axis where the flowers will be arranged, this is known as floral axis. So the arrangement of these flowers on the floral axis is known as inflorescence, right? Now the axis we are talking about, the axis of inflorescence, it has been given a term which is known as the peduncle. So the arrangement of flowers on the floral axis or the peduncle is known as inflorescence. Now let's study what are the different types of inflorescence that can be seen. There are two main types of inflorescence. First, the racemose types of inflorescence and the second is known as the zymose type of inflorescence. So first study the racemose type of inflorescence. This is also known as the indefinite inflorescence. Here, let's uh, consider it on the picture. So here the main axis we are seeing, this continuously grows. So this, uh, the growth of the main axis or the peduncle, it grows, it does, it does not stop growing. So the main axis grows continuously. The flowers, they are laterally born on the, in the form of an acropetal succession. So what is acropetal succession? Here, the older flowers are found at the base of the axis, whereas the newer flowers, they are formed at the tip of the axis. As you can see over here, so this is the growing end, the tips are the growing ends of these floral axis or the peduncle. The older flowers, bigger ones, these are found at the base of the uh, axis, whereas the newer flowers, they are found at the tip. So this type of arrangement is known as acropetal succession. This is mostly found in case of plants like mulberry. So the second type is known as the zymose inflorescence. Here, the, this is also known as definite inflorescence and the previous one was called indefinite and this is known as definite inflorescence. Here, the difference is the growth of main axis terminates. So the main axis stops growing after some time. Now, the flowers are formed in a basipetal succession unlike the previous one which was acropetal succession. So what is basipetal succession? Here, the newer flowers are found at the base unlike the previous one where the newer flowers were found at the apex or the tip and the older flowers they are found at the tip. So this is the clear differentiation between the ac acropetal succession and basipetal succession and these type of zymose inflorescence they are found in plants like tea. So in this video we have talked about inflorescence, we have discussed that inflorescence is the arrangement of flowers on the floral axis or the peduncle and we have talked about two different types of inflorescence, the racemose inflorescence which follows acropetal succession and the zymose inflorescence which uh, follows the basipetal order. So I hope you have understood and like this video. Thank you.